Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, so, you know, in, in good practices, honestly, normally we should not have our password saved in the browser. But it's a functionality that is so useful, especially if you access multiple accounts, that a lot of us actually use it. And to some extent, if you keep your browser, um, you know, up to date, to make sure that it's the most secure possible. Um, in general, it's not much of a problem, but there is a security risk in having your passwords within the browser, and it's something that you got to think of. Now, personally, I've never had any problems with that, and once again, my security is fine. I always, you know, am careful what I do in my PC, careful, make sure that all the software is up to date, and this, of course, in turn, makes me um, a little, you know, more secure and pretty sure that things in general should be okay. Um, there's a security check in Google Chrome that you can do that will tell you if you've had some data breach, if something within the passwords that you use maybe are too weak, or maybe uh, something else is happening. Simply go to your Google Chrome browser in the three vertical dots, go into settings. Here, you will actually have on the left side, privacy and security, click on that. And one of the things that you'll have is the safety check. Safety check will look at anything that is, um, you know, password saved, any uh, data breaches that have happened and what has been stolen uh, extensions you might have that are bad or shouldn't be there. So it does kind of a quick safety check of the browser. You can click check now and it will actually look at everything from updates. Make sure that your updates are done. Passwords. For example, here I've got more than 200 passwords in here. It says 26 weak passwords. Um, I'm not too worried about the weak passwords because some of them are websites that you can't do anything about it because they don't allow you to have complex passwords. And in those 26, I probably have a big chunk of websites that are, don't even exist anymore that I just still have there from years past. But if you do have weak passwords, it will show you, it will divide the passwords and the websites that you kept the passwords in two categories. The top ones will be the weak ones. And what does weak mean? Well, weak means that you have a higher chance of maybe having your accounts stolen because the password is not complex enough. But it's of a varying degree. If your password is weak, but you have two-factor authentication, it kind of balances out because if somebody would find a password, they still need to have your phone or that second way of you know, getting the two-factor authentication code. But still, it's better not to. Then you have, of course, the safe browsing, standard protection. It tells you if your protections are okay. Extensions, says you're protected from potential harmful extensions. To a certain extent, we've seen in the past that it happened that extensions that were bad did still make the way to the Google Store. And finally, device software, says Chrome didn't find harmful software on your computer, checked six days ago. Now you might wonder about this. What is that? Is it like an antivirus? It's a minimal look at things you have installed. And it can in some way see if you have something that's not right in the software installed on your PC. So this security check is actually a good idea to do. And you'll know if there's anything wrong. In case of passwords, it might tell you that you have bad passwords that were leaked. And then it's going to tell you the leaked passwords, which one they are, and that they found them. How do they know this? Well, you might remember a website that I actually shared a few months ago. That is a website that checks if you have been pawned. So I have, I've, been, uh, have I been pawned is there to, it actually checks lists that were available in the dark web, for example, for emails and passwords and information about accounts. 
And this is where they get that information, actually. So they also have access to that list of all the accounts that have been, you know, uh, hacked into in the past. So they can see and find in there if your password, for example, that you use for some of the accounts are um, hacked and that you would, you know, were in a data breach somewhere. That is dangerous because that means people somewhere know that the password can be used. So they'll try accounts and they'll try that password to try to steal your accounts. So definitely change those passwords if you do have passwords that have been uh, leaked in the past. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.